Uh, welcome back, anyone who's still with us. <laughs> um, I've been working away on this now for the last week or two. Um, got to leave it again now for a few days, but I'm going to go through what I got done in the past week. So we'll take a look at that. Okay, so job for this morning is um, stripping back these spindles. I pulled the speedo cable out, just pulled out. Um, yeah, I want to get this stripped back. Uh, I have the other one done. Put ball joint out, caliper off, um, disc off, uh, caliper bracket off, and I'll go over the caliper and the pins and stuff. Now, I have the other one done. Um, they are, or were, pretty damn crusty. Uh, this... I didn't even realize they were so missing that I didn't even realize the back plates were there. Um, but I'll order new ones when I'm getting the other stuff. Um, one bolt I got out, two have cracked off, so I'll have to drill those and tap them. Um, and the other thing that's actually a bit of an issue is the bleed nipple. Um, now, these are ATE calipers, and yeah, they're considerably more expensive than the garling ones so I'll do my best to save these um, the piston is actually quite clean that fluid running out is just because I've got the, the hose disconnected but I'll get a rebuild kit but um, it's relatively clean in there so I'm hoping that they'll be okay uh, the slider pins are nice and clean as well but the caliper itself was just a clump of rust um, got that little retainer that's okay. Um, this bracket as well was really crusty, but at the end of the day it's just a casting. I think those are actually available as well. <laughs> Brake pads. This is the state of everything here. Um, just complete rot. Even the backing was rotting away. Um, but the pins and stuff are all good. Stainless pins. Um, Stuff I'll have to see about bearings as well, but yeah, this one cleaned up anyway, so I'll get the other one torn down as well. I might go through that a little bit. Okay, I'm just tearing apart the second one. Um, most of it is self-explanatory. I mean, take out the two pins in the caliper, take the caliper off, and then uh, the two main bolts that hold the carrier for the caliper on there. Now, this looks a bit more... Um, yeah, this is what takes a bit more figuring out. So, believe it or not, just here there is a small circlip. Um, I put heat on it a while ago and then you could finally actually see it, but I can think I can just make out the lip of it there. So I'll knock that out with a screwdriver and then I'm going to heat this whole section here with the gas torch. And this gets knocked that way to come out. Um, they're, they're pretty tough to get out now in fairness. Um, the other side here, you can just about see these are the retaining bolts for the back plate. And yeah, there's not much to see really. Um, so I've got to try and get those out as well. But first of all, anyway, I'll get this circlip out and then I'll get this heated up, try and knock it out. So put a bit of heat on that now just to um, it kind of frees things up for sure. And the uh, circlip kind of shows up then a little bit, so you can just see I just need to pop that off all the way around. Um, I'll take off the boot and uh, clean out the grease, and then I can really put some heat into this thing. I don't have a press. Um, be awkward enough piece to press out anyway, but um, once it's heated up, it will it will move eventually. Okay, so I heated that up as much as I could around here. And then uh, just lodged it in the edge of the vise, just in around there. Just There's just enough to catch the edge. And um, yeah, a few sharp whacks with the lump hammer to get it moving. Once it gets going, it comes out all right. So when I'm putting it back in now, I'm going to uh, cool these down and heat that up so I can uh, hopefully get them in relatively easily. Now, as for these guys, I'm going to um, 
and give them a bit of heat as well. I'll give a bit of a tap around here with a hammer and chisel to clean off some of this crud. And uh, then I'm going to cut a flat side on each side with the grinder so I can get a, just so I can put a vice grips on it and kind of work it back and forward to see if I can get them loose. Yeah, like that. I got one out last time, the other two sheared, but uh, I'll give them a go anyway. So one of the last little bits I want to do to this, um, everything else is uh, successfully out of this so far, but was this, uh, the bleed nipples were both rotten and cracked off. So I bored down the center of this uh, first with uh, three mil, uh, but couldn't get it. And I drilled with a four mil. There's hardly anything uh, left. They drill quite easily down the center because they've got the hole for air to come out. And then just hammered in a torque, um, a little torque head into it, and it finally managed to grip and pull it out. Um, so that's another little thing done. Just got to do the second one now, so hopefully that'll come out as well. Oh, that's the second one out now as well. I want to just be careful not to... Um, sorry, I'm trying to get that to focus. Just not to... Uh, drill as far as the coned end of that because I don't want to damage the the surfaces where they meet because um, it, it'll be hard to get the new ones to seal so just drilled most of the way down I tried it once it sheared off the top so I had to drill another bit just so I was through most of the threads um, probably about 8 maybe 10 mil deep but either way that's both of them out the only other thing I've got to do on these now is all three of these came out fine, which is great. Um, but I still have two stuck on this one, so might do something similar to this, see if I can uh, salvage the threads or not. Um, I just cut the little bolt like that, and you saw what kind of clumps of rust they were earlier. So. Um, yeah, I just cut a flat into uh, each side of it, got a vice grip on it and just worked it from side to side a little and once it was loose it came free and uh, came out easily enough. So yeah, nearly nearly completely ready now for these to uh, be refitted with all the new parts. So that's everything looking good. Damn sight better than it was. Might give these a bit of a coat of that black machinery paint. Um, these as well. But I'm probably going to have to heat these up to put the um, ball joints in. So I'm going to have to burn it off again if I do that. But uh, yeah, everything's ready now for when we manage to get some stuff ordered for it. Uh, got that top ball joint house as well. Uh, that's fine. You can buy new bolts on the uh, of brickworks or somewhere that are the right ones for the job. So I'll order those as well. Um, it's a fairly big list of stuff that we have to get. Um, so I probably won't get most of it for. I think it'll probably be another week before we order it all. Um, but it will be. It's the last big lot of stuff, really. Um, there's very little else after that that I'm going to need to buy. Um, these pins are okay. I'll see if I can get a caliper rebuild off of um I, I didn't see them on brickworks or anywhere, but I'll um look into that a bit more just for those. Um I need two more of those plugs as well to cover the pins. Uh caps and stuff are all okay. Gotta order all these clips, the short lines that go into the caliper. I have to make or get another one of those brackets for one because it's missing. Back plates, wheel bearings, discs, pads, hoses, hard brake lines, lots and lots of stuff. All right. Now, I'll catch you up on everything that's been going on in a second, but uh, I'm just going to stick some of this uh, seam sealer on. Yeah, it's lovely stuff, this stuff. Um, quite like it. I got a different tube of stuff yesterday because they, they just didn't have this. And... Uh, I'm <clears throat> going to go ahead and get this on now, and then I'll give you a look over everything. Alright, just sorted out a few other bits the other day. Um, I'm going to go fit them now. So that's the new 
positive cable. I just cut down the old cable. Um, there was a nice off cut off of it, which we'll do something else someday. This doesn't need this diameter anymore, really, because this is so short. Um, for the negative, I was going to cut up the other cable, but then I thought, no, I had a piece around, so I just got an input on that as well. It had the other end on it already. Um, got a relay just to do the solenoid in the ECU. Um, and this is the main power wire to inside um, wired back up. I actually put power to it the other day and had the dash and headlamps and uh, radio and etc all back on. So I'd like to get it to the point where I can turn the key and have the engine crank and possibly run. Uh, obviously still need a fuel tank and all that stuff but it would be a nice step to have it uh, there. So I'm going to drive on with this now and uh, try and get it to that point. Right. Made a few steps in the right direction today. Um, I'll show it to you there in a second. But first of all, starting on the key. No diesel though. <laughs> Now, on the plus side, we actually have a radio as well. So what I've done, we've put the battery in there. I haven't made a, a cradle for it as such yet. Just a little slug all the way in there. But uh, so that's my main power feed going up to the dash panel, main fuse board in the van. So that's bringing this dash, headlamps and all that stuff to life. Um, this one is just a feed to a relay which I've ran around there. Um, this one needs completion, but what it's doing is it's going up to that relay in there, and that relay is switching on the ECU and the start stops or the fuel solenoid on the pump. So, and that's wired into one of the live feeds that comes back from the original loom. So these are the original loom here, that's just the back lights. Um, this one will mostly be gauges, so I'll be going through that soon. Um, I'm not going to go into in much detail on the wiring. All that ECU needs, I cut the fuse block off of it. Um, one second. I cut the fuse block off of there. Uh, there was a block of relays and stuff, but I don't think any of them are going to be used, so I just got rid of them. And I'm probably going to get rid of most of this as well. Um, obviously, I've got to take off the cables for the throttle, and uh, just I have the schematics now to get whatever I need for gauges, etc., there and take them into the old loom, hopefully. Um, not sure if the senders will uh, gel or not, but we'll see. Um, just been in the back loom, wiring loom for the rear lights and stuff there. Um, all you need for that is power cable to the ECU. Uh, so you hear the pump cycles. I can't remember, is it? Uh, well, they wrote all these down here on the things, so I have them. So ECU power is not written there. <laughs> I'll get the, I will mention the, the power. I'm feeling it. I can't remember, but I'll tell which one's the power anyway to um, give power supply to the ECU and power to the solenoid and the original starter. When I started it last time, I used the engine's wiring loom, but now the um, power to the starter is just going off the van's original power to the starter. So it'll it'll work off the original starting relay in the van. So I'm really um, yeah going to simplify it down as much as possible just making sure everything's fused coming off there but that's all I'm going to take off of there anyway is that um, power for that solenoid and the main the main harness so yeah filled up the gearbox oil there as well it's quite handy actually because with that breather pipe coming up the top you can just fill it through the breather take it off the top and fill it down through the breather hose um, <laughs> did test the start motor earlier with the vanning gear the front of the vans on jack stands. That can be a fright. Um, other than that, we do have things like heater fans, headlamps, uh, dash lights, 
all that kind of stuff is working. We have ignition lights, indicators. Um, obviously, none of the oil or battery lights or anything are doing anything yet. Do have side lamps and high beams. I think it's the first time I've ever re put something back in and all the bulbs and stuff are actually okay. And we do have a radio working again, which is nice. Uh, the leisure battery side of it, I've just really left everything out for now. Um, there's not a whole pile to it, but I'll probably put a split charge unit and I'm, I'm just going to rewire it all when uh, rewire it all when I get to it. Uh, under here, I pulled out the last of those uh, brake hoses that were the hard lines that were in there on the front hoses and uh, just seam sealed all this stuff. So I've still got a wax oil. Um, all up underneath is all wax oil. It's just these arches to do. And I still have to do that repair section just there. So other than that, all of that stuff is ready for all the new kit when that comes. Right, so just doing these last few pieces there now and I'll be leaving it that for a while just show you. So just got the fuel tank painted up, a couple of coats of hammer right on it. Um, I'm going to get that back in in the next couple of days. And I just pulled the pistons out of the calipers. Um, I want to measure them for one so I can order a rebuild kit. Unfortunately, this one is perfect. But the other one is tarnished and there's some of the chrome gone off of it there and stuff. So I do have to buy a kit with pistons, um, which is a bit of a shame. I, I was happy when I saw the first one. But um, yeah, we'll uh, get those measured up and get a kit ordered for them as well. Uh, other thing, I need to tap out one of these. But... That's it, everything else is ready to go back in. Uh, did get MIG tips yesterday, didn't get at uh, doing that repair under there for the radius arm mount. Um, but I'll get on with that probably early in the week and before the parts arrive anyway. So I can, um, yeah, I'll get that sorted before then. And I still need to give a spray around in there with all the wax oil. But I just. Yeah, I kind of want to do that as the last thing in the evening because once that's sprayed, it's fairly fumy and horrible in here. So I'll uh, just get that far and leave it. Right. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Um, all those bits and pieces will be on their way and I'm pretty much set now that the next two weeks at least um, I'm going to get considerable time in on the van. Um, so I really, really do hope to get it. Um, yeah, moved out of my way at very least. So, um, thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Cheers.